Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a rose out of ribbon. Now it's really easy and a lot of fun. Here are a few roses that I made out of ribbon and I had a lot of fun, you know, designing them and getting creative. There are so many different things you guys can do with these roses made out of ribbon and I'll talk to you guys more about what you can do towards the ending of this video. But right now I'm going to show you guys how to make a rose out of ribbon. Now the things you're going to need, you're of course going to need the ribbon, you're going to need a needle and thread, and then you're going to need scissors. So the first thing you want to do is, let me just talk to you guys a little bit about the ribbon. This ribbon is an inch and a half wide and a yard and a half long. When you go to the fabric store, you can buy a ribbon by the yard or by the spool, so it doesn't really matter. But if you're going to make a rose that size, your roses will turn out to be these sizes. Um, so the bigger the ribbon in width and the longer, then the bigger the rose. So this rose right here is made out of ribbon that's right here, which is 5 eighths of an inch wide and a yard long. So as you can see, the difference in size. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take your needle and have it threaded and knotted so it's ready to go. So once you're done with your rows, you can just stitch it off so it stays in place. Next thing you want to do is you want to take your ribbon. Now, this ribbon is nice and pink. I usually like to use ribbon that has the same color, print, or design on both sides just because it looks a lot nicer. First thing you want to do with this is find the center part of your ribbon and then you're going to set it on the desk and put it on a side angle so it has that nice slant on the right side. Then you're going to take the left side and fold it over like this. Now you don't need to push down too hard on it, just hold it so it stays in place. And you're going to take the bottom part and flip it upwards. And you're just going to keep on doing that every other until you reach the end of your ribbon or depending on how big you want to make your rows. So I just want to pick it up for a second and show you what it looks like on the other side. But in the next couple of steps, I'm going to show you um, if you did it right. So you'll know if you did it right. Now what I love about these roses made out of ribbon is that you can do, again, so many different things with it. You can attach it to a headband or a hair tie or even a hair clip and put it in on your hair. Or you can even, you know, add a, a pin to the back of it and pin it onto your shirt. Or you can make a lot of little roses and add it to an outfit that you designed and made. So that'll also look really nice. You can just do so many different things with it. So right now I'm getting towards the ending. And you can either do this by um, laying it on a table or holding it in your hand, whichever one is easier for you. So now that I reached the end of my ribbon, I'm just going to take these two ends right here and you want to hold on nice and tight to them and you're just going to let everything else fall loose like this. And this is how you know if you did it right, if you have that nice twist. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your ribbon and you just want to squeeze it nice and tight and you're going to pull the shorter end nice and slow. You don't want to pull it too fast because if you do then your ribbon will just fall apart. And you're going to pull it till it sinks in a little bit and then you have that really nice rose and you can twist it around and you know do it however you want but it looks really cool right now and what i love about this part is if you don't like the size of the rose or you know you don't like it how you did it the first time then you can just simply take it apart and start over but if you do like it you're going to pinch the bottom part together just like this and then you are going to take your needle, that's why it's good to have it already threaded and knotted and ready to go. And you're just going to start stitching it back and forth so it stays in place. Just like this. So I just finished off by knotting the thread so the rose stays in place. And now what you want to do is you want to cut the extra ribbon. Now make sure you don't cut the part where you sewed. And once you do that, you can just set it down. And this is my favorite part because you can just do whatever you want with the rose. You can design it with so many different things. Here are a few roses that I showed you in the beginning of the video. This one I designed with glitter. This one I just left it nice as it was. And here was one that was an example to show you the difference in size. This one right here I love because I designed it with a leaf and this is a nice silver sparkly leaf made out of paper cardboard 
and then I added nice rhinestones in the middle. And this one right here is one of my favorite. I added the nice fuzzy stem. You can either go with the fuzzy stem or the nice green wiring for the stem. And then I added the nice green sparkly leaf made out of cardboard also. And then I added green rhinestones in the middle. So you can do so many fun different things with it. You can decorate it with rhinestones, beading, pearls, or whatever you want. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned next time for more housing style.